Hi, it's Cece, and we are going to be applying some Art Alchemy Metallic Gilding Waxes today to this pretty detailed little chest here. Um, I prefer to use my gilding waxes on details and carvings and things like that to um, give them dimension and highlight them and make them a little sparkly um, so that they just have um, some more personality and there's a number of ways to do that but um, today I'm going to be using like I said the Art Alchemy metallic waxes so I've got this one in Firebird and then this one is um, vintage gold these are the same waxes old packaging new packaging so the new packaging is these tubes um, squeegee tubes and the old packaging is these little tins both have their pros and cons so they don't have a preference but um, we will work right out of the tin, whereas the squeezy tube, we'll just squeeze out what we need at a time onto a little paper plate. And a lot of times I use my fingers, um, nature's paintbrush, to apply um, my gilding waxes, but today we're gonna be using some brushes. Um, I like to use art brushes, or you can use makeup brushes too with your gilding waxes. I like these uh, in, in between half inch and inch, fairly stiff. Um, brushes. I don't like to use super soft brushes. Um, the reason is they kind of tend to go down in the details when you're applying it. I like to use the stiff brushes because it's easier to stay along the tops and just touch the tops of the details, which is what um, my goal is with this piece. Not every piece. Um, some of them I'll kind of paint the waxes on, give it an entire gilded look, but most of the time I just lightly touch the tops and um, give it a little highlight. So I will scooch in so you can see. What we're gonna do on this piece, as you can see, is um, it's a chest and from the top, we're gonna bring the gold from the top down and kind of fade it out. And then we're gonna take the Firebird, which is like a bright orangish red, almost copper, but a little more uh, reddish than copper. And we're gonna bring that from the bottom up. So um, they're just gonna kind of fade down and the other's gonna fade up. They're not really gonna meet in the middle. I don't think we could, but I don't think I'm gonna do that on this piece. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start with our um, vintage gold. These are water-based waxes, okay? So um, they apply and work just like the oil-based waxes. They dry just as fast, and um, I like to do these on my last step, so after sealing, or if you prefer to seal them, you can, but you wanna wait till they're fully cured, and they only, they, they cure pretty quickly, but I like to give it about a day just to be safe. Um, that kinda of depends on how thickly you apply them too, so we'll start with our vintage gold, which is really pretty. I'm gonna just squeeze a little bit out on my paper plate here, because I don't need much at a time. Okay, like a little pea size drop and put my cap back on because they will dry out if you don't keep the cap on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, this little kind of half inch. It's half inch, even though it's a little used and abused um, art brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. Don't need a lot. Little goes a long way. And let's go ahead and just start on this column. I will probably take it around the top little trim there, but um, let's just start here, okay? So I am just lightly, lightly kind of brushing on my vintage gold. And like I said, um, you can use your finger too. I do that quite often. But today I'm in a brush kind of mood. Okay, so I'm just gonna, see how I'm just touching the tops of my detail. I'm not covering or painting on the wax the whole entire thing. Just kind of touching it along the top, gently. You can use your finger to kind of fade it off if you'd like. Okay, and then we're just gonna bring it down. We'll probably bring it down to about the first 
you know, a little portion of this column. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see. I don't know if you can see, let's see if you can. There you go, how's that? Is that better? Yeah. All right, so, um, and honestly, I probably could have chosen a little bit smaller of a brush for some of these little areas. Um, but this one will be okay. I think it'll work. We'll see, I don't know. Maybe we just use our finger today. No, even our finger's too big. I'm gonna grab a little bit smaller of a brush. This one's a, just a tiny bit bigger than I think would be ideal. So, let's see. Let's try this one. This should be perfect. This is uh, maybe three eighths of an inch. I don't know, maybe a little over a quarter inch. So I'm just lightly dabbing on my um, wax. Like I said, a little goes a long way. Don't need a whole lot. Let's scooch in a little bit more here. How's, is that better? Boom, okay. Let's try that. All right, so, oh, that's much better. Much better size brush. So I'm just lightly going over the tops of my details here. If you get some wax, um, kind of where you don't want it, a little boo-boo, <laughs> yes, sometimes I take my sleeve or cloth and kind of wipe it away. If you don't catch it in time and it's dry, you can use a little bit of clear wax to work as an eraser to fix your boo-boo. This is my favorite part of the process of, um, you know, doing the finishing on a piece of furniture. It's just very uh, satisfying to me and a little bit relaxing. So we're gonna continue on down our little um, detail here. Okay. Mm. It's almost like you're dry brushing it on kind of, you know, similar technique. Continue on to the side. And what do you think? Pretty, right? Adds that super special touch of bling and it smells so good. You know, some gilding waxes have a little bit of a, you know, the oil-based ones have a little bit of a strong uh, fume type smell, you know, but um, these water-based ones smell so good, kind of like vanilla and flowers, I would say. This is what it reminds me of anyways, I'm not really sure, but almost like a perfume. Okay, so we're making some progress. So pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up this little centerpiece here. Uh-oh, a little boo-boo. It's okay, we got it. Just lightly brushing the tops of your details. I think that is just a nice, the prettiest little classy way to finish off a piece. Um, just a little kiss of sparkle. 
Who doesn't like sparkle? Am I right? All right, so we finished off a little centerpiece now. Um, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and finish. Obviously, I will finish this whole thing in the gold, this whole little detail here. But I'm going to go ahead and move on so you can see how far I'm going to bring the gold. And then we'll do the uh, Firebird because it's a beautiful, beautiful metallic shade. And I want you to see it. Um, and I want you to see how we, we're doing the fade, you know, up with the Firebird and down with the Vintage Gold. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of do half these here for demonstration. Like I said, don't be afraid to use your finger. It helps feather out the edges and you get a nice, you know, kind of faded edge as opposed to like hard line, you know, which is not very organic or natural looking on, you know, this type of application. Touch up there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and on this particular little column, let's see. I'm only gonna bring my gold down to about Let's see, what do we want to, how far do we want to bring down our gold? Jeez, what is that? Pardon my fuzz. Okay, that's getting on my nerves in there. Okay, got it. All right, so I think, let's, let's, let's go ahead and see how far down we want to bring it. Let's go ahead and come down. And at this point, so I'm going to brush it on so I get it applied. And then to get a nice little organic edge, I'm going to use my thumb or whatever finger you prefer. I think my thumb is just a good size for this little flute here. So we're going to bring it down like this. And I'm going to take my thumb and just fade it off. See how... Oh, See how I get this nice little fade from just kind of using your finger? You can do it with a brush too. It's just a little easier with the finger. I don't know why, but it is. So that is kind of what I'm going to do. But I like to... Okay, so I like to do um, uneven edges. Irregular, imperfect. I think it just looks a little more natural that way. So instead of fading this off... at the, the exact same spot all the way down or all the way across I'm gonna have them ending at different spots but not too far off from each other but just a little different so I'll show you what I'm talking about so I'm gonna bring my vintage gold down to about there okay I'm gonna use my finger to fade it out, just like I did on the first one. Okay, and see how it's kind of um, not exactly straight across where they stop. It's kind of just, you know, a little higher. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I'm gonna bring it down. Oh, let's keep that one short and sweet. Let's bring it down to about there. Fade it out with our finger. Okay, and then I will continue across this little column in the same manner. I'll probably bring it back down and, you know, have them a little, little off, you know, where they end. So that's not exactly the same. All the way across, let's make that one a little bit longer. I think it was too short. pretty okay, obviously I'm gonna finish out the whole column all the way around but we're gonna go ahead and skip down to the bottom for now and do 
um, the Firebird, which is super pretty, and I'm gonna show you how pretty it is. And we're gonna do that the same way, but we're gonna bring it up, okay? So it, it gives a really neat look, kind of classy age type, type look. So let's go ahead and grab a, right, I grabbed a bigger brush for that. This might be a little bit too big. A little bit too big now that I am thinking about it. Um, but look at this Firebird. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's that orangish red. It's not quite copper, is it? It's more, more orangish, more uh, fiery. So that's what we're going to use from the bottom up. But I am, eh, let's see, I'm just going to use the same brush. I wiped all my gold out of it on a soft cloth. A shop towel and we're gonna use the same brush don't tell anybody so let's see I'm gonna point you down here so you can see and we're gonna start around the foot so again a little goes a long way you just need a little bit on your brush you can wipe the excess off on the edge if you wish okay um, and let's see I'm actually, let's see, uh, I think we can see better if we go down here. Okay, voila. That a little closer. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start at the very bottom of the foot. And I'm not going to go crazy because as you're going to see, Firebird has a lot of um, personality, okay? And I don't want the bottom of my piece to be too heavy visually, okay? Not actually heavy as in the weight. I don't want it to be too visually heavy and make the top look, you know, un unbalanced, out of balance. So I'm gonna take my finger and just fade out those edges. So. In order to do that, I'm going to keep it simple with the uh, firewood, and I'm not going to not going to gild the entire foot all the way around. Okay, just the tops of the details, and then the little bands like I just did that go all the way around. Um, we are going to just kind of fade those off, trail them out on the ends. Um, I know you probably can't see underneath here very well, but it's okay because I will come up here so you can see up here. Um, and I'm gonna pull you in just a second to do a close-up view of the Firebird because it's so pretty. The Firebird is one of my favorite waxes. Um, and I don't get to use it often enough. It looks really good on dark colors, eggplants, navy blues, um, like uh, emerald greens, really deep teals, but I just don't, I'm a gold gal usually, but this Firebird hits the spot. So see how I'm lightly brushing the tops of the details? I'm not going all the way down in those. That's what my glaze was for. And um, by just gracing the tops, I can create the highlighting that I want. Very attractive on carvings and pretty ornate um, elements like these. And I'm not pressing super hard. Remember, I used a um, fairly stiff-ish brush, so I don't need to press super hard. I just need to kind of brush the tops lightly. Okay, we're almost done with this little foot area here. Now, um, so both these oil, uh, these water-based waxes, 
as well as the oil-based waxes, which are called dehor waxes. Um, both of them can tend to kind of dry out a little bit if you are, um, you know, doing details such as this and you're gonna have it sit open, you know, for a length of time. And over time, they'll start to dry out. Some, some colors dry out a little quicker than others, but that's okay, because I have a solution for you. Um, if you take a little bit of mineral spirits and you just drop in a little at a time, with a, take a little palette knife and stir it up um, until you get to your desired consistency. I like it a little creamy. Um, it glides on, paints on really nicely. Um, but, you know, that's up to you. But if it's dried out or drying out a little mineral spirit, stir it up, you're good. So, there's that. You're welcome. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to be done with that. And there's a couple little detail here, you know, on each far end of the foot. Okay, I'm going to do those as well, but um, for now we're going to go ahead and move on up so I can show you how I fade the Firebird up just like we did um, with the Vintage Gold, but down. So I'm going to get this little corner here, lightly, and I'm just going to fade it off. I could take my color and go all the way around, sure. It's a personal preference to kind of fade it off. I like how, I like the little, um, you know, effect that it gives. It adds to the whole highlight idea I was talking about, you know, the the metallics and the lighter colors, the iridescence and things like that that attract light, uh, really create a highlight. And that's how I choose to think of, um, you know, think of them when I'm deciding where to place my um, waxes or, you know, metallic paint or whatever I am using to highlight, okay? Okay, so that one's a little more subtle here. Okay, so let's move on up to, oh, we can make our choice of where we want to do this. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do another little double line here. Use my finger to kind of trail it off. Okay, and see on this side. Trail it off with your finger. All right, all right, let's keep moving on up. Now I'm gonna hit my little, uh, oh, the bottom part of my column here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, Brush it all along the top of the entire little jobby here. Kind of use your finger to help that along if you want to. And that start, isn't that such a pretty color? This Firebird is amazing. I mean, just hold you back so you can see the difference between the Vintage Gold and the Firebird. See Vintage Gold, very bright brilliant yellow gold and the firebird is this coppery fiery passionate color okay so enough of that let's go ahead and come up our flutes here on our column and we're gonna do the same thing we did with the gold but upside down or opposite i guess i should say so let's go ahead and start to bring our Firebird up. Okay, and with my thumb, just going to kind of fade out that edge, get rid of that harsh edge line. Okay, so same with the next little flute here. We're just gonna Oh, we're gonna make it a little longer than the first one. 
Because remember, we don't want, we don't, we're not fans of all the way straight across perfectly, right? We like perfectly imperfect. Fade that little guy off with a finger, okay? And then continue on around the same way. I think I need a new firebird here. This one's getting a little, or oh, I need some mineral spirits mixed up in it. All right, let's go ahead and bring our third little fruit highlight up. There we go. So that's what we're gonna do with our Firebird and I'm gonna finish that all the way around and then finish off my gold and the rest of my details. But I wanted to show you how to apply the um, Art Alchemy metallic waxes. These are from the Finnebear line of uh, Prima Marketing um, offerings. Lots of fun stuff in that line. She makes some really cool things. Among those cool things are these waxes that come in a bunch of colors, lots of colors, purples, blues, teals, green, um, pink, copper, bronze, gold, silver, you know, all the, all the essentials. All right, so there is the second to last flute. And I'll go ahead and take a pause on that because I think you get the idea right so let's see soap and water clean up for your brush super easy water based and there we go so I'll show you from here because you can see vintage gold coming down firebird coming up isn't that so pretty so pretty Such a pretty um, uh, sparkle, you know, just a little bit of sparkle, bling bling. So that is our demonstration with the Art Alchemy Metallic Waxes um, for today. So hopefully give them a try, use all the colors, make something really pretty, and um, I will see you next time. Bye.